everyone, my name is Elva. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you are all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Strangerville and this is the... I'm not sure what the name of the neighborhood is but um, this is the kind of like a top part of the map if that makes sense and I think this is my second build building here the first one was like a train I don't know train station something like that that I built I don't know maybe early last year or maybe late 2020 but um, this is my second build and this is actually my first ever build um, that has this kind of like a, I don't know Victorian type of a build style not really sure how Victorian it is because I've never built anything Victorian before and um, actually in fact I struggled so much building this I bulldozed like so many times and I had to look up for some inspiration um, both from Pinterest and also like Google images and reading some articles online basically like I had a ton of struggle building this because one I've never seen anything um, Victorian style in real life so I mean building wise I've never seen anything like that it's not very common to have this type of buildings here um, more classical builds yes here but not exactly Victorian so um, yeah I had to do a little bit more research and hopefully this will consider as Victorian enough and on this build um, we have four bedrooms I think yeah four bedrooms and three bathrooms and one of the bathrooms is actually an ensuite so you can fit up to let me think one two three four five six seven sims yeah seven sims because we have some like single beds and we have double beds here so maybe you can do like a full household situation with like a pet or a baby and surprisingly enough, I didn't have hard time doing the floor plan because normally it will take me so long. I have another build that I will post after this and it took me an hour, like a little over an hour to figure out the floor plan after I decided just to change the exterior part a little bit and that way the floor plan worked better so um, I was very surprised because I didn't have much issue with the like floor plan part and um, I only used three packs here so seasons strangerville and realm of magic I know um, it's not very often to see me using realm of magic strangerville maybe especially the um, debug landscaping I love them so much but realm of magic it's actually I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, yes, the world is cool and stuff, but the build objects are not my favorite and Spellcaster is actually really cool. I have to say that I once played with um, Spellcasters and they're so cool. They have this many abilities and such and I think it's as good as Vampire, um, but I just don't play with Occults and I barely play the gameplay so yeah um realm of magic is not my favorite um game packs but i think strangerville and realm of magic can um work together they look really cool together oh my god did we just have earthquake here um by the way um a little info yesterday um when i was building another build we have like a massive earthquake and i was so shocked because even though it's very common to have earthquakes here but I didn't really expect to have earthquake in the middle of me building in the sims because one um, it's quite common yes but two I will still be very surprised every single time we have another earthquake and I think we had just another one like a few seconds ago which is so strange but um, all swell so yeah and um by the way speaking of the build so um on the downstairs we have a living we have a kitchen a dining a tiny dining actually a hallway um a bedroom and a bathroom i think yeah that's it um so we have one bedroom downstairs and also one bathroom and the rest of the bedrooms and bathrooms are upstairs so um i didn't really put much 
thoughts of what kind of like households that live on this build and also um, what kind of like background story they have something like that I don't know I'm not very creative with like background stories and such so um, I didn't really put that many cluttered pieces that can visualize what kind of sims they are but hopefully um, this will do good and as you can tell that this is one of the bedroom and I have to say that I was so stressed when it came to um, the wallpapers because one I don't really like the options we have with four or three packs plus base game because they look very I don't know what to call them but they look very similar one another and yes they have a little different patterns and I don't know like sightings and stuff but they still look very very similar and I wish we could have more options color wise maybe not just like beige um, white blue and pink and red I don't know I just wish we have more maybe like green like more muted green like more a muted blue or I don't know muted purple something like that um, there were not that many options to choose from so um, yeah hopefully you're okay with what I chose and put here and we are basically just done with the first floor or downstairs and we are doing the upstairs now so this is the kind of like a hallway slash office space and sometimes I do put uh, my office stuff like desks and chairs and um, PCs on the hallway because I think that's kind of natural in a way that I used to have that when I was a kid and it's actually really common so um, hopefully it's understandable and um, this is the second yeah the second bedroom and I decided just to put a double bed here because why not and again the color palette is so I don't know muddy and brown I don't really like how dark I mean yes it's supposed to be dark but I wish I chose other pack than uh, what is that seasons because yes yeah, seasons is great like I have to say that seasons is amazing especially if you uh, want to change the weather and seasons um, obviously but build wise it's not my favorite um, I don't know they have this kind of like craftsman style house and um, both the build objects and the buy objects are just not my favorite so um, despite how good the pack is um, building wise it's not my like top three I'm gonna say that but I wish I chose um, what is that pack um, the farming pack oh cottage living I wish I chose that because it offers much much more and um, or maybe get together because I think they kind of like they kind of similar in a way with stranger feel and yeah and this is actually the master bedroom so they have this kind of like a tower kind of thing this is my first ever build that has a tower I have never built anything that has a tower before so please do let me know what you think of that hopefully it does okay and we have two fireplaces because even though this is deserty world I thought that it needs a little oomph like that so um, that's that and we are doing the last room here so this is the bathroom and we have double sinks which is so fancy and I did put this kind of like a bathtub plan thing from stranger field that I barely use in any of my builds so um, maybe they have their old like tub and they want to do an upgrade so that's why we have a more modern um, butt up and shower combo and um, that's basically the interior we're doing the exterior part here and uh, as you can tell basically I had finished um, the architectural part um, like halfway done so I just had to put some more like detailing and stuff and I did change the wallpaper um, into something that a bit lighter and uh, so it doesn't look too orangey because the background is very very orange and I think it looks really nice having like um, brighter or lighter color and um, if you notice that on the intro part I did the intro 
or the build is actually facing backwards so the front is on the back and vice versa and that's because I noticed that on this lot the lighting comes from the right part of the lot so um, because I have the right part to be a little I don't know basically it's covering the left part so that's why we have like some shadows and it's not as bright as I would like them to so that's why on the intro and on the screenshots um, I flipped the build so that's why it has better lighting and actually when I was building this the seasons was still set as in autumn so yeah yeah just a little heads up on that that's why we have like brighter and clearer screenshots than this because on the screenshot part um, I turned them back into summer which is my most favorite seasons in The Sims so um, that's that and as you can tell that I did some like detailing here on the exterior part so we have some benches we have some um, garden planters on the back some like outdoor dining and more um, landscaping part add more cactuses and I don't know those landscaping things and after this I think we'll be heading on to the screenshots so if you'd like to download this build this is already available on the gallery my ID is alfatiera or you can find it under the hashtag climbing sims you can also click the download link on the description box below that will bring you to my coffee blog post it'll have two different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the travels link from simple share so yeah I think that's it I really hope you find this video inspiring and the build useful to your game and if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to, you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go now. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me. I hope you have the very best day and I'll see you soon. Bye!